Um, so this is my first ever vlog. Um, I uh, usually think of my uh, the, the my videos as like I don't know tiny pieces of art. That sounds really pretentious, but you know, hey, anything can be art. Um, anyway, so I wanted to uh, tell you guys a little bit more about my day-to-day -day mermaid life and uh, just, you know, just get your opinions on stuff and uh, that kind of things. So um, today I am going to show you a little bit about how I'm making my own silicone tail or, well, trying to. Um, that's very exciting for me because I've heard that it's super hard and like an incredible amount of work. But um, I really want to try making one myself because I think I think it'll be really fun. So I already did some uh, testing, like with um, plaster uh, molds, and uh, I ca already cast a little bit of silicone, and that was well a disaster. Let's be fair. So I'm hoping with the changes I'm making today that it'll be uh, well better. So I'm going to show you. So we're going to the construction market for the second time in two days to get some more materials for my silicone tail. Because yesterday I tried it with plaster and that did not work out, so I'm gonna go inside for some airway protection. So yesterday I was trying some stuff out with the polyester resin and stuff. And I was watching this tutorial about how to work with resin whilst working with the resin. And the guy in the tutorial was like, okay, so always use eye protection and always use airway protection because this is very dangerous. And if it gets on your skin, just call an ambulance and stuff. And I just put my elbow in a big pool of it. And I was like, oh shit. So I'm gonna get some protection. So I'm going super hot in these. get one of those cool respirator masks. So yesterday I uh, started making the molds and I was trying to make the first one out of resin but that was a disaster so I threw it out and then I decided okay I'm gonna just do it the easy way and make it out of plaster. So I made the first mold looks like this and um, so I made the scales out of clay, out of monster clay. And I just, looking at this one now, I just can't believe why I ever thought this would be good enough. Because the same day I made these, which are just way prettier. But the first mold was made out of plaster and it was okay. And I poured the silicone into it, which worked fine, I guess. Except that the texture on the top of the Scales is a little, I don't know, it's not smooth, so it doesn't, it's not shiny or anything. So then I was going to try with my second mold, also made out of plaster. I was going to paint the inside with nail polish, because I figured that'll make it smooth, right? Well, that didn't happen, um, because apparently plaster just drinks nail polish or something. And also... The plaster started bubbling, and I'm not really sure why that happened, but as you can see, I cannot use this to make the scales in, because it has all these little bubbles, so the scales would come out all weird and bubbly. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make new scales from clay, and then I'm just going to give it another shot with the resin. This is the new scale design. I realized that um, if I make the like the veins on the scales, if I make them really thin, first I made them with like this end of the pin, but then the casting material gets into those little things. And that doesn't work. So I need to make the veins much like, deeper, like wider. So now I've made these. I think they're going to be better. Oh no. I nailed it. 
those are too long. Keep messing it up. Okay, I've made all new scales. See? Like that. And what I'm going to do now is glue them to this little plastic plate that I have so that when I pour the resin over it, it won't get under the scales because that would make it very tough to get the scales out of the resin afterwards. All right. So I'm going to just glue this clay to the tray that rinse. I'm just going to use a glove because I think it'll be easier. Oh, so it's really thick. Eee. Okay, well, uh, maybe I should just not have all the scales in there at the same time. So I'm just gonna put the ugh, oh geez. Okay, well put the glue on there and just hope it sticks, I guess. It smells kinda bad. Okay, so that's all for today. Uh, the glue is drying downstairs. Um, I'm hoping it'll work out. Uh, I think I'm gonna try casting the polyester resin as soon as possible. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated, so um, subscribe so I can keep you updated. I'm still getting used to this vlogging thing. I'm not very good with the vlog banter yet, so cut me some slack. All right, see you later, bye.